Daniel Radcliffe's romance with Aaron Dark is burned into the history of film forever. The lovebirds met on set and got to know each other while filming, so the actor can see himself falling in love with the mother of his child for ages to come. They're also known for their killer rendition of the real Slim Shady. Name a cuter couple. We'll wait. Daniel Radcliffe experienced stardom at the ripe age of 10 years old. Some say we've watched him grow up on our screens. While this is sort of true, the actor is also known as someone who keeps the details of his personal life away from the media and the public. In fact, he swore off social media years ago. Daniel is simply uninterested in what strangers think of him. Another reason he avoids social media is that the actor doesn't want to risk getting into online arguments. To add to the list, how often have we read fake headlines with his name? Understandably, the actor wants to keep his private life, well, private. However, Radcliffe doesn't mind sharing parts of his life with his fans. Like how he fell in love with his longtime girlfriend on screen. He and Aaron Dark are usually quiet about the details of their life together, but the Lost City actor is happy to let the world know why his relationship is so beautiful. In 2012, Aaron and Daniel met on the set of their film Kill Your Darlings. The 33-year-old opened up to People Magazine about their first meeting, saying it will be a hell of a story to tell their kids because of what our characters do with each other, addressing an explicit scene the couple has in the film. The actor also disagrees with the idea that he grew up on our screens because many moments in his life have been personal. Still, falling in love with Dark truly happened in front of our eyes. According to Radcliffe himself, the whole process occurred while they were filming. It is genuinely preserved on film. Our characters are meeting and flirting, so there is this kind of sweet record of us just meeting for the first time and flirting, Radcliffe said. The Swiss Army Man star shared that he had an immediate connection with Aaron during their first scene together. There's no acting going on. Not for my end, anyway, he shared. Wow. Daniel explained that their first scene has a moment where his now girlfriend makes him laugh. I'm laughing as me and not as my character. She was incredibly funny and smart. I knew I was in trouble, he said. How romantic. Though the lovebirds started dating shortly after they connected on set, they remained relatively quiet in the early stages of their relationship. That's, that's how we met. Um, so, you know, that, that was the beginning of our beautiful relationship, and one day... Radcliffe only confirmed the romance a year later on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. Although at the time he was very vague about the identity of the special someone. Yes, I am dating someone. The type I keep private, he revealed, adding, My type is intelligent. The couple continued flying under the radar after Daniel's announcement. Tabloids were keen to get their hands on any information about who the actor was dating. It's a wonder he managed to keep his relationship a secret for so long. Maybe some magic was at play. You know, do, doing the most mundane stuff like uh, just going shopping like with her is just like a joy. Eventually, in 2014, the public learned who Radcliffe's girlfriend is. The two made their red carpet debut at the Tony Awards ceremony that year. Also that year, Daniel described his lover as his best friend. That's the kind of relationship I always aspire to have with someone I'm in a relationship with. You want that person to be your best friend, the actor said, and he added, In the case of Aaron, we definitely are. Uh-oh, we think we have a severe case of the hard eyes. While she may not be as mega-famous as her lover, Dark is quite an accomplished actor herself. You may recognize her from movies like the Beach Boys biopic, Love and Mercy, and Oscar-nominated Still Alice. On TV, she's taken on recurring roles in The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and Good Girls Revolt. The couple is very supportive of each other's careers. Erin mentioned that one of the first things she and Daniel bonded over was how much they love what they do. There's something really beautiful about being with someone who just innately understands that about you, the actress confessed. When Dark isn't acting, one of her passions is sports. Her Twitter bio states she's a fantasy football enthusiast and devoted Red Wings fan. Radcliffe mentioned that his girlfriend is also a Detroit Lions fan. Yeah, my girlfriend's from Michigan, so we'll be what, like, there's always a Lions game on Thanksgiving. Oh, that's good. Uh, with the misery or joy that that entails. Yeah. Even though they're a private couple, sometimes Aaron and Daniel don't mind making their love public, like when they gave the karaoke performance of a lifetime. In June 2015, the Lovebirds were spotted singing at Cameron's Pub in California. In front of a crowd of enthusiastic bar patrons, Radcliffe rapped Eminem's iconic song The Real Slim Shady, while Dark provided the backup dance moves. Who knew the actor could rap? Their performance also told us that the couple is very comfortable being themselves around each other and other people. Daniel once said that he grew up doing many things that he assumed were super nerdy to do around a girl, which isn't the case with Aaron. Oh, I can do all that stuff and you don't mind? And you actually think it's fun too? This is fantastic, he shared. 
this couple is truly meant to be, and it's not just us who think so. Right. I did actually surprise uh, my girlfriend with a, like a trip to New York, with me surprising her in New York once. Uh, I flew over to sort of be a nice surprise at the end of the week. Um, but uh, but I, the surprise got ruined on the night before I went out because she'd had a really crappy day, I guess, and so I was like, ah, oh, no, I'm coming tomorrow. So I couldn't keep that. I messed up my own surprise. We've seen our fair share of tabloid headlines claiming that Radcliffe and Dark have tied the knot, but they haven't yet. The actress joked that they reached a point where she had seen her own wedding reported several times. I spent a week once having to text all my family members. I promise if I'm getting married, you will find out from me and not Us Weekly, she quipped. Sometimes even Daniel's Harry Potter co-stars get thrown into the fictional nuptials. At least three different times, somebody has written that we're getting married, and Emma Watson is going to be the maid of honor, and Rupert Grint is my best man, he shared. There was also a time when tabloids called Aaron's dad at home, asking if his daughter had tied the knot. Some sources learned that the couple was in Michigan, which they were, just to get married, which they weren't. The actress was just visiting her family and brought her partner with her. Thankfully, tabloids began losing interest in Radcliffe and Dark's relationship over time. They're a pretty normal couple. Most of the paparazzi shots are of the two simply getting some coffee. You can only sell so many photos of two people waiting for an Uber, the actress joked. Then, the couple worked together again for a 2021 episode of The Miracle Workers. Having met on set, Daniel felt it was incredibly special and lovely to work together again. Hopefully, we'll get to do more in the future, he said. And then, we didn't hear much of them again. The pair made a rare public appearance in 2022. They attended a New York City screening of The Lost City, in which Daniel co-starred with Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum. The lovebirds wore coordinating outfits and were all smiles as they posed together. The same year, he gave insight into his feelings about his longtime love, saying, I've got a really nice life. I've been with my girlfriend for a decade, pretty much. We're really happy. Even though the couple have been together for a decade, there are no plans for a wedding yet. However, they have decided to grow their family. In March 2023, Dark and Radcliffe were photographed by paparazzi out in New York City. The actor's girlfriend seemed to be showing off a baby bump, causing a stir and setting off pregnancy rumors all over social media. A few days later, the Guns Akimbo star confirmed through his reps that he and Aaron are expecting their first child. How exciting! Daniel has spoken of his hopes to become a dad in the past. In 2013, he discussed the topic with Time Out magazine. I definitely want to have kids, he shared. The actor explained that he grew up around lots of people who were having children, and he saw a wonderful change in them. I see that it gives you a sense of purpose that, up till now, I only really get from work. I want that, Radcliffe said. The dad-to-be also mentioned he would love to have his children around film sets. A dream would be for them to come onto a film set and be like, God, you know, I'd love to be in the art department. I'd love to be doing something in the crew, Daniel shared. However, as someone who had to tackle childhood fame, Radcliffe says he would keep his children far away from it. It's really the fame side of it that should be avoided at all costs, the Harry Potter alum explained. He wants his kids to stay away from fame mainly because of the unnecessary pressure that child actors have to endure. I'm very happy to have these memories, and this is amazing. Also happy it's not my day to day anymore. That is also like, it, it's kind of nice. Daniel himself has admitted to getting sloppy drunk so he could deal with the spotlight in his young adult years. It's a fate he would prefer his children to avoid. Nevertheless, Radcliffe remained grounded and steadfast in an industry known to damage people. He had said before that his parents, Alan Radcliffe and Marcia Gresham, taught him how to handle fame. We're confident the actor will pass that golden wisdom down to his children, too. As we excitedly await the arrival of Daniel Radcliffe and Aaron Dark's baby, we will take a moment to appreciate their love. This is a couple who have been together for a decade, and as far as we know, they never broke up or took breaks in between. There's no need for official marriage titles when it's clear their connection is solid and unwavering. Still, we hope they'll let the fans know if they decide to get hitched. That's all we have for you today. As always, thanks for choosing us. Spread the word and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more celebrity stories. Be well and be kind.